What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a special one. Today we're going to be recapping the 2024 Thunder Bay Winter Games. So let's get into it. In this story, we begin with a two and a half hour drive to Mississauga. We decided to stay at one of the airport hotels just because our flight was super early in the morning. Once we got to the hotel where we were staying for the night, we actually got to see a plane fly right over our head, which was pretty cool. So we checked in, we relaxed for a bit, we had dinner at the hotel's restaurant, then me and Brayden hung out and we watched a few movies together. I also got some cool custom made merchandise from one of my teammates' friends. So after we watched some movies, we hung out for a bit, uh, we decided to go to bed because our flight was at like 6 in the morning, so we had to be at the airport around 4 or 4.30 in order to catch our flight. It was a very early start that we had to the day. We had to wake up at like 3.30, 4 in the morning, around there. I got all my stuff packed, and then me and my teammate Cohen, we made our way to the airport. Once we got to the airport, we checked in our luggage, made our way through security, and then got to our gate. Me and Brayden also walked around the corner from our gate. There's a Tim Hortons there, so we got some drinks and snacks for our flight. And then once we got back, we started boarding and we we're on our way to Thunder Bay. There was Ontario Winter Games Committee there, and they're cheering us as we were walking through the gate. Uh, there was like volunteers showing us where to go. Then we got our own bus to take us to our hotel. And then me and Cohen actually got to share a room for this event, so we got to our room. And then we chilled for about an hour before we had to go out again for practice later that day. But before we left, we got to say what's up to some of the bowlers. We got to chill for a bit with everyone, got to just settle into our home for the next few days. So once we made it to the bowling alley, they had our lanes all set up for us, and then we just got practice right underway. Uh, at the beginning, I was feeling very comfortable with the lanes. I was, like, my timing was perfect. I was throwing lots of strikes. Everything was going well, but then after a few games, I kind of just started, like, struggling. I couldn't hit the middle. I was punching a lot. So I had like an iffy practice, I was like 50-50, I didn't know what to expect for the actual event itself. I was really focused on the approach and how my ball reaction was up there, because it was totally different from any bowling alley we have in Southern Ontario. It was a bit of a struggle to know that like I had not a great practice session, that I had nine games ahead of me and even more if we made playoffs. So it was tough to like get my head out of that negative space after the practice. So once we got back to the hotel, we had dinner. It wasn't anything special. It was just like, it was not the greatest, but after not eating the entire day or like only having snacks since four in the morning, I wasn't complaining. But once we were done with dinner, after about two hours we had to get back on the bus because we had opening ceremonies to go to. So our opening ceremonies were held at Fort William Historical Park in Thunder Bay. Once we got there, uh, there was a huge lineup of all the sports. There was anywhere from like hockey to archery to five pin bowling. There was just a lot of sports there. So once we got there, we got to stand in line, and then we got to walk into the park where all the parents and coaches and all the support staff were all there cheering us on as we walked in. And then from there, we started the celebrations. 
they had a few announcements and like opening speeches uh, for the event. Uh, then we got to jam out to some music and have lots of fun. I do specifically remember though, during those opening speeches, they were like calling out each of the sports and then once they called you out, you'd like cheer for your sport. But I just remember when they said five pin bowling, we just got so loud, but like we were the loudest sport there. We were just like, there was just so much support for five pin bowling and it's just great to see that the sport's still like thriving, even with all these youth bowlers. And it felt like we were definitely the favorite sport up there. Just everyone seemed to start like cheering very loud for us. It was lots of fun. It's just good to know that people actually still care about us and for five pin bowling. So now for the end of our first day for the winter games, we finished opening ceremonies. We got to hang out for a bit, talk to other bowlers. We had these cool like tube lights. We were like whacking each other with them. It was a lot of fun. But yeah, we got back to our hotel, we cleaned up for the night, then we had to go straight to bed because we had our first day of competition the next morning. So now for day one of the competition. I didn't record any of my scores or my teammate scores. I looked online, but they only had the total points for match play written down. So I'm just gonna read you guys off who won each match and we'll go from there. So for game one, it was region one mixed versus region five B mixed. Now Region 5 B-Mix was actually from my last video. They had a different name for this event, but it's still the same team. So in the first match, we actually took seven points off of them. They only got one point. We started off strong. Uh, we were just excited to be there and we all bowled great. Then in game two is Region 1 Mixed versus Gateway Mixed. So for the second game, again, we were just getting loud. We were enjoying the atmosphere. We took six points off this team, they only got two off of us. So for the first two games, we already had 13 total points. We were in the lead by quite a bit, and we were just having lots of fun. Next for game three, it was Region 1 Mixed versus Thunder Bay District Mixed. Now for this third game, again, we were just like steamrolling all these teams early on in the tournament. Uh, we actually got seven points off this team. So we went up to 20 points in our first three games. It was just crazy. We were just enjoying every moment. We were having fun, getting loud, and bowling our best. All right, for game four, it was region one mixed versus gateway mixed. Now for this game, we struggled a little bit. The other team did put up a good fight. We still won total, but we only got five points off of them, and they took three off of us. Then for game five, uh, we ran back into our fellow Southern Ontario team. Uh, it was Region 1 mixed versus Region 5B mixed. So our team actually took six points off of them. Again, we were just doing super well. We hadn't lost total through five of the games so far, and we were just on fire. Then for our final match of day one, which was game six, it was Region 1 Mixed for Thunder Bay District Mixed. So for this final match of the day, we ended up taking 7 points off of them. They only got 1. Every team we faced, we beat for total the first day. We were just like going crazy, we were having lots of fun. It was a good start to the tournament. We were very confident going into this. We knew we could have a really good chance of winning. And we showed up. A little recap of day one of our competition. We took 38 points and only lost 10 out of 6 games, which was absolutely amazing. We were just cruising through the entire tournament. Every team we faced seemed to just like, they weren't shooting well, or maybe we were just getting loud and like making them nervous or something. But we were just like on a hill. We were just climbing up the hill the entire time, having fun, just shooting our best. If anyone had a bad game, we'd pick them up immediately. We were just happy to be there. We also were 11 points ahead of second place after day one. So going into day two, we had 11 point lead, which is Crazy, because if you sweep a team, you can only get eight total points. We are in the clear. If someone swept us, we would still be in the lead. Now, here are some clips of us from day one.
So yeah, after our first day of competition, we went back to the hotel, we chilled out, had some dinner, and then we were just hanging out with a bunch of the bowlers afterwards. Then after a bit of hanging out, uh, we decided just to go back to bed. There was a few funny moments that happened that first day. Our coffee machine wasn't working. Our beds broke. It was just, it was a fun time being in our hotel room for sure. Lots of memories that I made. I was very happy about the whole few first days that we had in Thunder Bay. It was really nice. So now on to day two. Again, it was a very early morning. We had to get up at like 6 a.m. It was very early days that we had. It was just getting up early, bowling early, finishing around dinner time, and then head back to the hotel and chill for a bit. But uh, yeah, day two, we got up, went to the bowling alley. The vibes were still good with our team. We we're having lots of fun. We were like joking around with each other. It was a great day. So starting off with game seven, our first game of day two, we had region one mixed versus region five B mixed. So from this first match, we ended up taking a total of seven points. I was a little upset this game because uh, my friend Curtis, he actually beat me. He was on the other team. He got a seven count and beat me by it was either one or two pins, just because he got that corner pin. But yeah, he punched the head pin, and then the pinfall up in Mario's Bowl in Thunder Bay. It's really weird, so you got lots of like good breaks with like head pins or chop-offs. You like turn them into good counts, or even like strikes. So, he punched the head pin, and then ended up beating me by one. So, I was a little upset about that. We didn't get the sweep on them, which kind of sucks, but we still tried our best. So after our first match of the day, we actually qualified for first place for playoffs. So we just got to like relax for the rest of the day. So it was a lot easier on us. Next up for game eight, we had region one mixed versus Thunder Bay District mixed. So for this game, we were still going strong. We did struggle a little bit. They took two points off of us. We got six. We still did really well. So yeah, we were just like relaxed this entire time. We were vibing. We knew we already made playoffs, so we were just going with the flow, and we got six points. Then finally, for game nine of the tournament, it was region one mixed versus gateway mixed. Now this game, we just were feeling it. We were doing super well, and we actually swept the other team. This was just such a good match from all of us. I know Marshall, he shot like 300 this game. I shot like 290. We were just killing it this game. Like It also felt really good because uh, the other team actually like huddled halfway through the match and we could hear them. They're like, oh, we're the better team. We can beat them. Let's show them how it's done. And then we just come out like even better than the first five frames and we absolutely destroy them. So that was a really good feeling to like think that they have a chance basically against us and we just shut them down. Felt really good. So after the nine games, we actually had 59 points. Second place only got to 38 points. So we were ahead of them by 11 points, which was crazy. We just absolutely dominated this tournament. No one stood a chance against us. We just steamrolled the our entire way through. There was no teams that took more than three points off of us. So we were just like vibing the entire time. We were winning, we were having fun, we were getting loud. It was a lot of fun. So for the first game that we played of playoffs, it was Region 1 Mixed versus Gateway Mixed. We were really confident going into this match. We swept them before. So we were very confident uh, in knowing that we had a chance to just win it right then and there. We were extremely excited. We were, my team was a little nervous just because it was getting really loud during playoffs. So. I was just trying to calm them down, saying we got this, and then that we just needed to roll the way we usually do. So, out of nowhere, the other team just completely, like, destroyed us the first game. They just come out attacking right away, and we kind of just fell behind first game. Uh, we only took two points off of them. It was very surprising because it was our first loss of the entire tournament that we lost total and a few of our individual points as well. But we uh, took two points off of them. We had a 10-15 total for our team. I shot 268 and still didn't get my point. Uh, it, was just, it just blew my mind. The other team just out of nowhere just started bowling really well. And it was just a little confusing for, to us. But we knew we still had one life left. We still had a chance at winning, uh, but we were all just a little upset 
about how that first game went, and it kind of affected us going into the next match. But we still tried our best, we stood strong going into the next game. Then into our second game, again, they were just doing absolutely amazing. Out of nowhere, the entire tournament, they were not doing anything, so they just randomly decided to show up in the playoffs. But yeah, second game, we are doing a little better. I had to shoot 260 again. I actually got my point this game. Yeah, it was a struggle. We only got a total of two points again this game. Uh, they beat us twice and actually took home the gold, which we were kind of upset about. Because, like, we were leading the entire time, so for them just to randomly shoot well against us, it's just, it feels like luck was on their side instead of ours. But yeah, we had a 10.08 total, and I shot 2.65 this game. Uh, we tried our best, but it just wasn't enough. The other team had their, like, they did a good, like, 30 to 40 people right behind us. And then our, like, cheering squads were all, like, around them. So it was just really tough. They had all the momentum. They had everyone on their side, especially Thunder Bay, just because they're from Northern Ontario. They were cheering for them too. So we were kind of just SOL the entire time. Like, we just couldn't do anything about it. We tried our best, but in the end, it just wasn't enough for the tournament. Now for a quick recap of day two and the playoffs, we were just winning all our matches to begin the day. We were having fun. And then once playoffs rolled around, that's when we started losing. We just lost all momentum, and that was the end of it. We did felt okay about the loss, sort of. We were a little annoyed, but we still held our heads high because we knew we were the better team. We beat all the other teams by 11 points. Like, second place was 11 points for the nine games. We didn't lose a single total out of nine straight games, which was absolutely insane. We were the best team up there for mixed, and... We felt like the other team just got lucky in the playoffs, and like, sometimes that's just how it goes. Sometimes the underdogs just randomly take it out of the people who are expected to win. But anyway, uh, we had our medal ceremony, and then we went back to our t hotel. We got to chill out for a bit, then we had to pack everything up because we had a flight at around noon. So we had to wake up for like 7am and get our stuff ready, so that's what we did. Also, here are some clips of us from day two. Day, we just got to fly home. 
we got on the bus early in the morning. It took us to the airport. Uh, the committee actually had a pre-packed lunch for us for the flight, which was very kind of them, especially since we hadn't eaten that morning. So it was nice to actually have something just on our stomach for the way home. We had the two hour flight home, then we landed in Toronto, and then that was the end of the trip. Me, Braden, and Cohen actually went to bowl off down in Chatham, so we had an extra hour to travel because we we had to go all the way down to Chatham, bowl an extra three games, and then drive all the way back to Sarnia. So it was a long day after, even once we just landed in Toronto. But yeah, overall, it was a really fun experience. I'm really glad I got to share it with my team. They're amazing people, amazing bowlers. I said in my last one, they all have so much potential just to do great things in our sport. So you better watch out for them. If you're an up and coming bowler, you better watch out for them because they're gonna bring it every single time. And they're probably gonna beat you every single time. Just that's how good they are. So yeah, we took home the silver. It wasn't anything special. It was just unfortunate that we lost in playoffs, especially since we did well the entire way through. But it was a really fun event. I couldn't have asked for a better final Winter Games and Youth Challenge since I age out next year. Uh, so it was a lot of fun. So thank you all so much. All the bowlers, support staff, coaches, anyone who helped with Winter Games this year or was a part of it, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope we keep doing great things like this for our youth bowlers. It's really great. And yeah, can't wait to see what's next. But yeah, with that, that's going to be the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know down in the comments how you like this like little hybrid style of all these clips, me talking over some of them. and Just let me know how it was. If you like it, then I'll try doing more of these for more tournaments. I'll try getting even more clips for upcoming tournaments. Since I age out, uh, there's only going to be singles and doubles, but next year I'm going to try for the Open, so I'll probably get to vlog my whole experience there. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share, follow all the socials, join the Discord, do all of that. You already know the drill. But just thank you so much for watching. This was a fun video to make. It was a really fun event, having everyone getting to see everyone, making new friends. It was just a lot of fun. So yeah, I'm just very grateful for everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. Take care. Okay, here's the metal by the way. Yeah, looks cool. It would have looked a lot better uh, if it was in gold, but it sucks to suck. Bye.